Could Ivan Fresneda be on his way to Arsenal? Yes, people, wife boy, and welcome back to another Arsenal transfer news video. If you love this type of content, make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 3,000 subscribers, and feel free after this video to check out all the other ones on my channel. I've covered Caicedo, Rice, Cancelo, players like that, so feel free to check it out. This story is about Ivan Fresneda, courtesy of Fabrizio Romano, who tweeted earlier today, Ivan Fresneda's release clause is now available for just 20 million euros after Valladolid's uh, relegation confirmed. Uh, sources for Fresneda could still leave for less than 20 million euros in the summer. Interest but no bid from Arsenal. Dortmund strongly interested. And it's an interesting one, right? Because I remember covering this player in January, saying how Arsenal really interested in this type of player. He's a fullback, still only 18 years of age, by the way. Young Spanish fullback, but also quite a tall fullback. And also an interest in him in January, but didn't launch any concrete bids. And now it seems interest have been renewed. And waiting for him to stay his club, Real Valladolid, Real Valladolid sorry, uh, who got relegated this season. And now his release clause has gone from 40 million to 20 million. Seems like you could snatch up for quite a bargain. Because look, 20 million in this day and age is nothing for a fullback. And he's a fullback that suits Arteta's needs. I covered him in January saying how he's tall, he's young, he's already adept with, adept with playing the ball at his feet. And also he can slot in that be that defensive fullback. We know Pep, uh, Pep Guardiola plays that. Four defensive fullback formations, right, where he's got Ake left back and potentially John Stones right back. Arteta might want to implement that himself. He's already got someone like Kivio who's been tested out as playing as a left back. And of course, Ben White's been playing like a right back type player. So maybe someone like Ivan Fresneda could be that perfect type of option for Mikel Arteta. The fact that we had interest in him in January and now again we've got interest in him in the summer but not but I've not launched a bid and he'll come from a cut price makes me think that this could be a likely deal for Arsenal. We know Arsenal also been linked to Sasha Bowe um, from Galatasaray. However, no concrete bids have happened from that uh, from that story as well. So those are two, two fullbacks Arsenal targeting. I do seriously think Arsenal are looking at fullbacks this summer, which for me I think is a good option. We know Kieran Tini is set to leave the club to potentially Newcastle United. Would be a sad loss, but if the player wants to go, you have to appease the players once, right? And the player wants to get out of Arsenal. And Newcastle, though it is a Premier League club, I'd rather we don't sell to another Premier League club. We can tell Kieran Tini's would want to go to Newcastle. It's up north. It's basically next to Scotland anyway, so he'll really enjoy it up there. But it does mean we need to replace him because Zinchenko alone is not enough. Now, Ivan Fresnade is more of a right back. However, we know Arteta will, will, will always have a trick up its sleeve. Maybe he puts Tomiyasu as a backup left back, converts him to that position, and then Ivan Fresneda coming on Sasha Boe could be that backup right back to Ben White. That could potentially be a viable option. Or he's looking to jig up his whole squad and maybe play someone like Kivior left back. Or even Gabriel's a left back if he wants to play a back three with Gabriel left centre back, Saliba down the middle, and Ben White as a right centre back. Who knows? Either way, bringing in another fullback adds the versatility and it gives Arteta options, right? Because the more options you have, the more dangerous of a team you become because teams don't know how you're going to set up. You've got multiple ways to attack them. I feel like with Arsenal, it's a bit too rigid right now. Everyone's got a position and that's it. You know how you're going to come up against them. Whereas when, you play against, when you play against Man City, right? They might play John Stones right back one game and then he'll slot into midfield. Or it might be Carl Walker as a more defensive one. You don't know where you're going to get attacked from. Whereas Arsenal, it's a bit too rigid. Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, and Zinchenko. That's our back four. You know, Zinchenko's going to slide into midfield and you know, Ben White's going to come back round and become a back three and potentially overlap sack on the right-hand side. It's too rigid. And if you keep the same system for a while, you're going to get found out. So Ivan Fresneda adds a different dimension to Arsenal. Look, for me, I quite like the signing for under 20 million. I do. I remember scouting him in January and saying that I really think he's a player that could fit Arteta's system. And the at the time, they're talking about 30, 40 million, which is way too much. But if we can get it for under 20 million euros, that's a bargain, in my opinion. An absolute bargain. And suits uh, and fits the needs that we want. At uh, 18 years old as well, bound to get better. Spanish blood himself. You know, We know Arteta likes those Spanish type of players. Confident with the ball at their feet. It's in the Spanish DNA, man. It's in their water growing up. So, yeah. I really like that potential signing. However, for me, right? Right back should not be our target straight away. We're looking at our midfields as well. We're looking at a lot of targets simultaneously. And I feel like when this happens, right... It can be a good thing, but also a bad thing. You got too many, like too too many eggs in, in multiple baskets. Do you get what I mean? I feel like last season, right? You know, as soon as the season ended, Gabriel Jesus was who Arsenal wanted. It basically, the whole transfer got dominated by Gabriel Jesus. We got him over the line, then we started looking at players like Zinchenko, for example, and other players like that. But the main target was Gabriel Jesus. That is who we wanted. I feel like this season, right? It's a bit everywhere. We've heard Fabrizio Romano say that Arsenal's top target is Declan Rice, right? But I also hear Caicedo talks. I also hear about Ardu I also hear about Ivan Fresneda, Sasha Boe. All types of players, Cancelo even. So it seems like there's an Arsenal they're dipping their hands in multiple pies, which it could work out. But for me, I'd rather see Arsenal just go for targets one by one by one, man. Just bang, 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 bang. So if our main target is Declan Rice, as I've heard, and we're just waiting until the Europa Conference League is over to submit a bid... Why are we still looking at all these other players at the same time? Do you get what I mean? I feel like we should go one by one by one. Now, if you want Ivan Fresneda, right? 
We know Borussia Dortmund are also interested. That's a good sign. If Dortmund are interested in a player, that's normally a good thing because their scouting network is quite good generally. But that means that we're going to have to move quickly. This isn't a player where it's just Arsenal up for him. There's multiple clubs up for him. So if we do want Ivan Fresneda, you've got to move quickly. And when it is cheaper deals, right, players with a release clause of 20 million euros, you could potentially get him cheaper because the club has been relegated. So need to recoup some funds somehow, some way. It is normally a deal that can happen quite quickly, right? Because it's not like they're trying to eke out money from the club. It's not like it's going to be a war of attrition and you're waiting until the deadline day to really get a player over the line. This is one knows where Real Valladolid just want to get rid of the player. They just want to get rid of him, man. They're relegated. They need to make money one way or another. So if Arsenal can come in and make that bid early and potentially prize money for 15, 16 million euros, I can't see why this deal can't happen, to be completely honest with you guys. But it's just whether we do that. That's, that's the only thing. It's whether we're willing to go through with that. Who knows? But yeah, like I said, I want to see Arsenal target the midfielders first. I think a Declan Rice bid is absolutely imminent. We've heard the talks with Bayern Munich as well about how their interest, how they're willing to launch a bid. Arsenal needs to move quickly on this one. And then the other talk is with Kaiseido. I released a video only a couple days ago about how Ugarte was with advanced talks for Chelsea. But then Fabrizio Romano just completely squashed that. Literally like seven, eight hours later saying the deal with Chelsea's off. And then today he's tweeted saying that Manuel Garte to PSG is a here we go, meaning it's basically happened. So that's a crazy turn of events in 24 hours. From looking like he's destined to go to Chelsea, it's now being basically confirmed as a PSG player. Manuel Garte is going to France. And what does that mean for Arsenal? Well, it means Chelsea now are probably going to renew their interest in Moises Caicedo. Fabrizio Romano himself said that no matter what happens with Ogarte, Chelsea going to want for, uh, Moises Caicedo. But now you know, with Ogarte off the table, Chelsea going to be looking extra, with a little bit of extra intent to get Moises Caicedo, that central defence midfield position. And more often than not, when you're in a bid with Chelsea, it's a long day because they're not just drive the price up and up and up with no regard for the actual value of a player. They just want to pay as much money, well over the odds uh, for him. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the Caicedo deal goes along. I feel like it would have been much easier if Ogarte went to Chelsea. But now that he's not, I feel like Chelsea are going to be straight in for Moise Caicedo. So can Arsenal keep their nerve and go for both Declan Rice and Caicedo? That's the real question. I'd like to see in the comment section, let me know who would you would rather get, Caicedo or Declan Rice. For me, I want both, man. It's not even a pick and choose. For me, I genuinely want both. I think both would be that exact midfield we need. Too many times Arsenal address one position, but not both positions, man. Like, if you want a chance for the title and Champions League, you're going to need a big squad and a squad of killers, a squad of assassins, man. And Moise Caicedo and Declan Rice are exactly those type of players, man. World beaters. World beaters and versatile players as well that can play the defensive midfield role and centre mid box to box role for Declan Rice. And right back in CDM for Moise Caicedo. Exactly the type of players we need. So those are two positions I'd really like to see Arsenal address. But like I said, multiple different clubs are looking at them. So this transfer window, it hasn't even opened yet. But you've already seen a lot, a lot of news regarding uh, players that Arsenal wanting to sign and the players that Arsenal competing to sign as well. So Eddie's got a busy summer on his hands. Let's see if he's able to pull a lot of these transfers out of the line. I do hope so. Ivan Fresnel is one of the options on the list. For me, I like the look of the player and I like the fact we can get him on a cut deal, but the target's got to be centre midfielders, man. So I expect as soon as the Conference League is finished, get on the phone to West Ham and say, I want Declan Rice. Get on the phone to play and say, let's make this happen, man. As always, I'll be covering Declan Rice news as well as other Arsenal related news on this channel, basically daily with my Arsenal transfer news videos on this channel. If you do appreciate it, make sure you subscribe down below on my road to 3,000 subscribers. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on Ivan Fresnel or any other Arsenal targets you'd like to see Arsenal sign. I'll be waiting I appreciate you all for tuning in. Hope to see you all in my next one. Take care.